Hello awesome viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video we are going to discuss how to get the tabs count in a browser. This is one tab and if you open another tab, how we can get the value of this. So without any further ado, let us start the video. Now guys, I have created tabcon.js. Let me copy the copy the code from here. I'll paste the code here. So I don't want anything. I want up to the browser. So I want to launch the browser. After that, I wait for timeout. So only thing I need is await await browser dot. If I put pages, I'll get the pages count. So what I'll do? I'll put dot length here. L E N D T H and this one I'll be writing it in a count. So let me write here let count equal to await browser pages dot length. So now I want to console dot log of this count. So let me execute this. So I have to put tab count dot JS in package dot JSON. I'll put it here tab count.js. So now let me execute this CLS npm test. It, is, it will launch the browser. Now I have to get the count of tabs. So I got two, but I haven't closed the browser. So now let me manually close this. I'll run it again. So now I'll close the browser also. Okay. Let me close the browser also after getting the tab count. So, yep, yeah, after getting the tab count. So, I'll enter, close the browser, and I'll write proper message the tabs are, the count of tabs are, okay? The count of tabs are. Now, here I'll give space, I'll add it plus here. Now, this looks perfect. Now clear the screen. Now run the npm test again. Here yeah, we got two. It will close the browser. The tab counts are two. Here also I'll change it again. Get tab count. So let, let us run one more time to get a proper result. Even the description now matches. Launch the browser. Get the count. Close the browser. The tab count are the count of tabs are two. So that's it for the video guys. If you like the video, please click on like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.